How bright the moon is shining. Is there a moon? It will be eclipsed when my husband returns. Love like ours will never be eclipsed. Your husband? You said you were unmarried. I said I was unattached. And since I'm not attached to my husband, I told you the truth. Oh. But let's not speak of husbands. It's such a tedious subject. Yes, of course. And there's really no need to worry. He's on a hunting trip. He's extremely fond of grouse. Grouse, eh? And besides, we have only these few moments. A few moments? How few, loved one? What is time? A week, a day, an hour, a minute. Time flies, hmm? And he always blows his trumpet when he returns. Catherine, look! Got a grouse! Got a... Who is this? You tell him. Cecil, you didn't blow your trumpet. Out of my way, mistress. Speak up, you. Sir, I realize that this must appear to be a trifle compromising. Com compromising on guard, sir! If you'd allow me to explain... I will allow you a decent burial and no more. Will you draw your sword, sir, or shall I run you through? That's not a very attractive offer. However, you leave me no choice. Now what shall I do? Whatever you think best. But can't you talk to me? Touché. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I? Ashamed? Do you think it's fair to leave a beautiful young woman like this alone, neglected, while you indulge your own selfish pleasures? How true. Uh, I'm... Grouse hunting. When did you last tell her she was beautiful? I don't have to tell her. She's my wife. Wrong. You should remind her of her beauty every day of her life. Write her poetry. Send her flowers. And jewelry. Be quiet. We should never close our eyes to beauty. If you'd open yours, you'd have not only a wife, but a wife's love. Sir, I give you back. <clears throat> Your grouse. Be careful. Thank you, my lady, but this has become more or less of a habit. Guards! Guards! Quickly! Guards! Leporello, quick! Guards! What now? Husband. Horses. 